Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. If you're just really loads into the map, let's get back on the surface. We just got back from the Haunted Mansion and there's really no reason to just stick in the sewers. It's not like we're an Osperato or anything like that. No, we are a completely nice and non underground vampire. Now I had to restart this episode just because I forgot to change my audio channels to be incorrect. But it didn't get much further than this corner until I realized what I had done. It has been a while since I recorded, so it didn't come to me immediately. But let's go say hi to Lily and uh, E. That was the name of. I, I, I literally had to be like, what was the letter between? D and F, because honestly, while Malkavians are a bit different, some of their ideas really, really make things easier. Hey, how are you feeling? You brought my Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped us, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. That sounds a lot different than what I think you meant. But yeah, keep your flower pinned next to your heart. We're gonna be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the Jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. Okay, uh... He has already exited this box, but he has not yet scared his children. I am gone. So, how are you doing? How was your Thin Blooded reunion? This life's been hard on him. Both of us. But he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there. As long as we're together. Alright. Luck to the leather. And the flower. Bye, Lily. I'll never forget this night. It's been a pretty long night. I'll say. I think it's been like there's seven episodes in. It's been a long night. It's been not that long since it's essentially been like three hours, at most. If I remember my episode lengths correctly, which I may not, which is completely understandable. All right, let's keep an eye open for a snack, and if we don't see one, that's fine as well. Ah, uh, she's just leaving the corner. Alright, but we do need to go to the side street actually, so... Right. I could have done that immediately instead of hoping to get a snack on this girl here. No, there's a person just... What's the hops, bro? Right, yeah, no, there's uh, a potential witness there, so I will rather not take a bite out of that pizza. Anyone pissing here? Yes! Oh, that's a safer snack. And we can get our blood all filled up. Nice and easy. For some reason my health is still not full, but I don't know if that's actually the case. Anyway, how's my XP? What can I do with it? I want more, more dexterity, don't I? Or intelligence. Or wits. Ooh. Uh... What does ha a perception helps my inspection? I don't actually remember what I wanted to get. All specs. Hmm. And uh, maybe obfuscation might be helpful. Okay, no. I have changed my mind. Is this the asylum? Yes. Well, it's all fun and games when people do the peopling thing. Uh, Alright, I need to wait for the door to close, then we can go upstairs. Uh, while it's all fun and games when people just die and fall over when I... Well, no, it's all fun and games when people just laugh a lot instead of doing anything useful for me. I do like it when people die randomly 
Well, I'm... I make them. Email! Pardon me, but I am here to hack your computer. That... Oh! Apparently... That was the password. Nectar of the Gods, Miss Woman, your humble servant has done with his all to provide you with yet another batch of the finest sanguine spirits. And I apologize for not pouring it when you asked last time. Forgive me, unlike you, I'm an imperfect being. Alright, let's look at the next letter. Heart in construction. Look, Miss Warman, I'm really sorry to do this, but the men won't work there anymore. They say it's haunted. Alright, that's that one. Why are you always so mean? Bert is not so bad once you get to know him. You're the disgusting one. Yeah, that's that's fair. Uh, contacts? Whom do you know? Tell me everything. Business. Now that's an easy password, isn't it? Oh, you know LaCroix. Of course you do. You could call him now. You know Tongue. Who is Bertie? Yeah. Johnson. I guess that's constru the construction person. The flower underground sound. We can. Ah, a DJ. Vandal. Blank Bat Manager. And Labio. Art coordinator. Hmm. Interesting. How are you doing? How odd. I was just having naughty thoughts about you. You made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer lonely little me? I stole this from a spirit for the Ooh. dark daughter. <laughs> Can I see it? Only for the eyes of your sister. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? I seek not to harm your heart. <sighs> it's beautiful. Like a knight in shining armor, dangling at the end of a noose. And for the dark daughter, she promised to pardon the worm in exchange. Oh, did she now? I spend a few nights with Bertram and all of a sudden he's the pox of Santa Monica. <laughs> Paranoia and Therese have been bedfellows for longer than I can remember. Indulge my curiosity. What did you really think of Therese? I will say nothing of my visions. The worm needs I wish I could do something about it, but Bertram won't believe it's off until he hears Therese say it's off. And as I told you, I'm really not sure where Therese is. However... The Dark Daughter made promises. You will find her and bring her to me. Would if I could, kitten. So sorry. But she doesn't tell me much about her business. But I do know something you could do for us in the meantime. Something that would make us very grateful. Tell me, White right, Mistress. Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. What does it indeed for this shattered mind? <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. Slashing is no my I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. No, can I will think of you only as a slash this Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh well, have fun, Duckling. Well, I remember. Hide from me. I do remember what there is about these paintings. So this task we've been given is not a simple one. It's far more complex than initially implied. Not today. I mean the guy's porn stash didn't really appeal to me either, so... Galerie Noir, that's on the other side of the street. 
And now is the time when we don't want to get caught. I don't think my hysteria is going to be sufficient for this particular challenge. Well, I'm going to just walk past that for the moment. Oh, mass hallucination. But what's the one that murders? Don't I have the strength for this? Yeah, I did have the strength for it. Alright, let's just go right in and ignore the whole conversation option that we had with the guard over there. Alright. Now where's the charity box? I'm here for my money. 250. Not bad. Okay. Humanity lost. Ah. Well, I suppose I could have not done that. Okay, so it drains my blood to hit the paintings. Oh no! I have it trains my blood to do it in the wrong order. Uh, so curse my god. Meets Lilith. And then scorns Lilith for spurns. Gain being the first vampire in this uh world's lore. Now this Blood Guardian is being very mean to me. I see that the yellow damage on the, my health bar, that is something I cannot simply regenerate because this is from a supernatural, supernatural source. And it is very, very mean. But luckily for me I have a knife and the Blood Guardian does not. The Blood Guardian has some claws. Which... I quite mean. Ah, the next level is Vision of Death. So this level uh, was, I assume, the Mass Hallucination. Berserk. Ooh. So I can actually just uh, look at these and see exactly what I can do with all of this. But I think uh, the mutation is probably uh, most in my advantage. Now how do I put away my weapon? And how do I heal the yellow? Do I have to feed for it? Oh no, so. God damn it. Curse me. Curse me for my own foolishness. I should have not just started slashing at the first painting. I had done this before. I guess. Having done it before does not mean that I remember everything. Does it? No. All I remembered was the price of blood. Okay, how do I put away my weapon? Let's call it that. Oh, and I am regenerating now. That's good. We're all good. It might not be instant, but it is happening. Is the busy boy here? No, busy boy is coming here though, so... Maybe I shouldn't try PC Boy right now. PC Boy might still be drained. But, uh, let's see. No, PC Boy has fully regenerated his health. It's all good. Come on, PC Boy. Thank you for the blood. Uh, that is not a nice thing to call anyone. I don't know. That is the fate of someone who constantly goes and pees in the same corner all day every day all night every night 24 7 just pissing on the corner so yeah he gets to be called busy boy and yes you need to press an elevator button to actually go anywhere that's, that's a good thing to remember clearly i did not you what were you thinking 
I... How could you give her that item from the hotel? Do you know what she did with it? She did? She threw it into the Pacific. Do you know what this means? It means that I can't get rid of the spirit now, which means that that property is useless to me. And to make matters worse, someone's just gone and ruined my event at the gallery. Pieces of eight. Shut up! I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. Because of them, I'm in a worse position than I was before. The ocean house is worthless. So our business is forfeit. The feud is on. Let us talk the sequel, Starkman. Let business be our sweet nothings. I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner to reconcile, but I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. This is a trap. Shall I so show her a sunrise? Jeanette is my sister and my child, or did you forget? What kind of monster would I be to condone such action? You have no more right to do such a thing as you do to even ask it. Go! Get out of here! I want her back. I'm no longer here. Well, your feud seems quite... quite extensive, so... I don't know how aware they are of their own condition at this point. They might not be. I am aware though, so this is uh, asking me not to kill Jeanette. Makes perfect sense to me. Yeah. You see the sisters of Janus, the daughters of Janus. They are very, very much as the name implies. Okay, well, hello, this is an ambush. All of these blokes are out here to kill me. Well. Hi! I should probably get my knife. Give me a moment. I need to stab you all. The ha mass hallucination is not serving me quite as well as hoping. I am near final death. I have suffered final death. So now I already know what they're planning. Let me see if I can get them in a mass hallucination more appropriately than I did last time. Hello. Someone still alive? No, no, I killed them all. Never mind. All right, let me put away my knife. Yeah, let's let's grab a shotgun. That sounds like it will be good for later. I'm sorry, sir, but I need more blood. I took a little bit of hours in this combat and there are no other witnesses, so, you know, it's all good. Yes? It was a setup. Listen, I know we've had our differences, but you have to trust me. Therese tried to have you killed. I had to lock myself in the bathroom because now she's got a gun and... Please, you have to help me! Patience fight, mistress. Tell me what troubles you. Therese knew it was you at the gallery all along. She set you up and... Did you hear that? She's crazy. She paid those thieves for a hit. She'll kill anyone who gets in the way of her becoming the top dog of Santa Monica. Right, mistress, why did you bind me to these railroad tracks? This is gonna kill us. Without me, you'll never get out of Santa Monica alive. Why does the doctor order curse me? Hurry! I don't know how much longer I have! Ah, death is not as peaceful as I had hoped. Oh well. Guess we're gonna have to go and save the day, as you do, well, the night. So thanks for watching, I'll see you next time when we head back to the asylum. As before, that is where we belong.